Hello everyone, welcome back to the shop. Let's dive back into the taproom chandeliers. So, Pass Robles has been a luxury place to visit for over 100 years now. Where people, you know, in the Old West, they would come here to enjoy hot springs and, I don't know, you know merriment and drink and all this stuff. It has actually a very storied history. And it was really neat to kind of encapture that in my hometown of Paso Robles into a little art installation for a brewery, like that one that I can't wait to frequent. So I had an idea. I had an idea where I could not only hang 500 pounds off of these beams, but I could also make them stronger at the same time. So I made massive buckets to pick up quite a bit of the surface area of these, of these beams so that I can bond them together and put that weight load down onto them to really just bind it all together and with the modern day lags that I used for to, to you know, really suck all that down, I don't think those beams have ever been stronger.
so when I cut the cut the tubing, there was these little pieces of excess where the uh, the you know that really nice you know steel tab comes in to be welded. And I got to looking at it, and I was like, it's a terrible thing to waste any steel. So I for ended up forging those out into individual little scrolls and curled those back and. I love that little detail where I was once going to just cut that, cut and remove that piece of steel. I turned it into its own little motif. And I, it's just really fun to kind of think on your feet like that. Now originally, they were gonna buy lighting, you know, buy some almost like Victorian lampshades. And the owner and I, we got to, we got talking about inspiration and what this job means and what this statement is going to achieve for their location. So I talked them into me making the lamps. And when it comes to forging scrolls, it's an art form to get them all together and look unified. And one way to do that is by for, you know, creating a jig, what's called a jig, where you wrap a scroll around a form that you perfectly replicates the same exact scroll every time. I didn't really want to do that this for this job. There's plenty enough, there's plenty of scrolls to justify building that tool. But I wanted to capture the human element into this piece. I wanted to capture individual personalities of every scroll. I wanted to kind of see what I was doing, what I was thinking every time you see one of these scrolls. I just it's very humanist to create each one of them by hand. Each scroll needed to be extremely, extremely close to make them all pan in really nicely together, right? So I started by just drawing on one of my steel tables, drawing what I desired. And then each one by hand and I, I replicated them. <laughs> So I started by forging, uh, you know, cups together, bringing those all together, almost like a, a faux oil basin. 
And that was a nice hub for all the electrical when they when they comes in. When we made this decision, I started with three lamp designs. One that's fairly plain, and one that has that very Victor Victorian kind of light diffuser, and you know, get a little back plate. And then there's one that was really cool that was more industrial with like a lamp shade, almost of a, a guard you would see actually a, by a railroad, you know, an engineer holding one of these things. And the client chose number two. I really like this one because I remember seeing a lot of antiques very similar um, with that wonderful just oval or circular, I went oval, um, with that lovely starburst forged pattern what, that I made with this hammer here, my trusty cross pin, and making a cross pin pattern all around that perimeter just really brought it to life. So it's one thing to build a thousand pounds of chandeliers. It's another to get it onto a trailer alone like I usually am here in the shop. So it takes a bit of creativity to move these things around. So the colors for Pastor Robles Brewing um, primarily consist of black and gold, which is one of my favorite, favorite color combinations. It's just, it's just glorious. I rarely paint my work. I very, I, I don't like to paint my work very much um, because I feel like it hides a lot of the hard work that I forged into the piece. You know, all of the beautiful textures and things. I mainly like to just sand and clear it or oil. But painting these, one of my favorite color patterns, was all too easy. Yeah, getting that together and making sure there was lovely texture. You can see all the hand-forged textures into the piece itself. It feels so amazing to go in there for a cold one and see those chandeliers hanging above. It's the best feeling in the world. And maybe, who knows, I'll run into you there at Bass Robles Brewing. And as always, my friends, 
Thank you for watching.